Hey everybody and welcome to Monday's weekly sales update. I'm so happy that I am here today. I've been out of town all weekend. I uh, went on a quilting retreat with my mom. So I was kind of out of pocket Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But luckily I had some stuff I could upload while I was away, so I did. So I missed the chat Sunday, so I'll have a few updates to give you guys today and what the week's gonna look like. And I just wanted to come and say hello to everybody that is here in the chat. So far it looks like we have 11 viewers, woohoo! Uh, so let's see in the chat, Beautiful Life is here, hello. Hi All Things Collectible and Kelly and Susan and Krista. Hey Maggie. And let's see who else is there. Oil Field Picker and Tammy, which selling? Jason, Clearing Clutter for Clarity. Caroline, hello everybody. And a Purple Lily, Malaya and Lily Shop Hunter. Hello, I know I'm saying hello to everybody, but I like to say hi to people. So let me just get it out of my system and we'll move forward, okay? Um, hey Sh Chantel and Thrifty Rose and Phoebe and Kelly. Hello, Vanessa. Okay, I'm gonna move forward now. So, um, if you watched my video, my sales update last week, it was like, oh, so sad. I didn't have very good sales. Um, you know, I've been on a listing freeze. Like, my whole business has kind of been on just like autopilot because I decided to tackle everything. Apologies if you've heard me explain this so many times, but I. Uh, I just kind of stopped because I got myself worked like painted into a corner basically. I have, you know, had so many fingers and so many pies and I just like, okay, I can't do it. I'm one of those like, I can't do it all. What do you mean I can't do it all? Yes, you can. You can even talk to yourself. Okay, crazy. Let's move forward. So I went through, was like, what's getting pulled? So I pulled out of Amazon FBA and getting all this stuff sent back to me. I cleared out my workroom to kind of re um see how i'm going to attack my ebay and etsy business so i'm only going to be focusing on certain things and not try to grab everything and um i really did a great job i'm I gotta pat my own self on the back about my workroom i know you want if you've seen there was one video where i showed it when it was just like an explosion and then i just posted recently just a couple days ago um the, the finished product and everything. So yes, I'm done. So glad. Um, so let's see, I've got some more chat and, and then I'll talk about my sales and how I'm grateful for all my sales because I haven't been listing, which is also part of what's been going on. Great. Thrifty, Thrifty Rose is first time catching me live. Awesome. Um, let's see. Hey, Patty. Hey from Dallas. Oh, thank you. Hi, Noelle. And oh, from Dallas too. Lots of Dallas people here. Go Texas. Hey, if you're, um, I have a group on Facebook called Gulf Coast Resellers. If you want to drive down, I mean, we have meetups every now and then, and we're meeting up this month. But I mean, it's, I know it's like four or five hours, something from Dallas, but you never know. Gulf Coast Resellers, check it out. Um, also, so if I end up going up to Dallas, I'll probably pop it in there like I'm going. My brother lives in Carrollton, so he's up there. Hey, Evan. Oh, you got your first jewelry haul bag yesterday. Yay, I hope you find something good. Thanks, Gloria. She says, my workroom looks brilliant. Thank you. Hey, Beth. Um, yes, the in the office. Oh, my gosh. If you watch that video, yeah, <laughs> it was really bad. It was so bad. Beth's on PTO this week. Oh, I'm glad to see you. Thank you. Hello, Guillermo. And apologies if I missed anybody. I'm just checking to see if there were any more. Hey, Jacob. Hey, <laughs> merch sales update. Yay. And Jacob's book just came out, just went live. What was it, today? Yesterday, the 6th. So it's today. Yay, Jacob. Congratulations on your book going live today. And let's see. Vanessa says, I will be there. Yes, Vanessa. Yay. And Vanessa, I'll bring that other light. I haven't forgotten. I have this big light. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm bringing it. Don't forget. I won't forget. I'm telling you, don't forget. I won't forget. Okay, okay. I know you're here. You guys are here for the sales update, but I just have to. Hello from Houston. I'm Houston too. Yay. And all right. So, oh, Night Owl Entertainment finally got approved for merch. Yay. Congratulations. My husband still hasn't been approved, and I really want my sister to get approved. Um, okay, so I know you're here for a sales update. So let me do the sales update, and then, or should I do the... You know, let me do the updates first, and then I'll do the sales update, just in case. So, uh, updates. Um, now I forgot what the updates are. So, I talked about the, the meetup. Okay. Um, merch uh, book. Jacob's book came out. Um, and I don't have a link to it here. I'll have to link it in a second. Um, and so, and that one is like, 
it's really good, you know, for merch, but also like if you're not in merch yet and you're like, darn it, it's, um, he gives a lot of information about print on demand sites. So if you, I'll, I'll grab the link as soon as I get off here and drop it down in my description box. And so you can check that out because he talks about all the different, um, print on demand sites. Also, Hey Becky, Dorky Thrifters, how's it going? <laughs> also, if you hadn't noticed, because I, I just happened to notice, my channel just hit over 9,000 subscribers. Yay! Thank you so much, everybody, for that. Um, so later today, I know it's going to be a twofer in one day, two videos in one day, um, but I will be posting the, the giveaway. I love doing giveaways, y'all. I really do. <laughs> I love it. So anyway, I'm going to be posting the giveaway uh, video for the jewelry jar. I was gonna do just a jewelry grab bag, but I thought, eh, I'll just um, I'll just grab one of my jars because I just got four jars from the Salvation Army for like 15 bucks a piece. The, the manager was like, if you take them all, I'll give it to you all for this much money. So I was like, okay, I'll do it. So it was a good deal. Um, so yes, thank you. Um, Maggie says, saw my first jewelry jar at Goodwill. It was 25 bucks. That's about what mine I, I find mine for around here around. 25 sometimes 30 sometimes 19 they're all in that like wiggly range um, but if you see something in it that's worth the money then grab it I didn't really look at these real carefully because once he said I'll give them all to you I think it was like 60 something dollars but then I had to pay tax um, I was like you know what I'm sure within the four jars I can find something to you know knock out that 60 bucks so I did it so oh gosh I'm forgetting something else okay tomorrow I'm going to be talking live with Nick Hills, unless we both chicken out, because we're, you know, Nick and I, um, if you don't follow Nick Hills, he's a UK reseller, go follow him. He and I are good buddies, and, you know, this year on my Sunday chats, I've been talking a lot about, you know, the isolation and the depression and the things that I think come a lot with, with being self-employed and stuff, and so he and I, um, have, you know, we, we talk a lot anyways, but we, we started talking about you know, should we do this? Like, let's talk about it. Like, so it's not just me talking about it. So I've got another person that I'm bouncing, you know, so just telling our, our stories. And I don't know, because I've been talking about telling my story for a while now. And I just thought, he, and he thought too, it'd be easier. Let's do it together. Right. So we can commiserate. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to, we're going to do that. We'll see how it goes. We can, we've talked about it for months, literally since my, yeah, my, the months, you know, and we keep talking ourselves out of it and we've had private chats about it and just like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> so we're going to go for it tomorrow. Me and Nick, we're going to chat. So that's good. Um, and then our normal merch show, apologies for all the announcements here because I, I usually do this on Sunday, but I didn't, I wasn't here Sunday to do all the updates and stuff. So, um, and the normal merch show, which is normally on Wednesday at noon is being moved to Friday at noon. Um, and Jacob, Topping is going to be back on to talk about his book and some more print on demand stuff. Um, and I'm going to have some questions that I'll have to shoot to him because there's some more stuff I want to know. So that's coming Friday. I can't do it Wednesday because my son's field trip is Wednesday and I'm going to, I'm going to the field trip. So that'll be fun. <laughs> so anyway, I've got some other videos that are, are pre-recorded that are ready to go. Um, trying to be more on top of stuff. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Maggie says, I have no interest in selling jewelry, but I'm addicted to Margaret's jewelry jar videos. Thanks, Maggie. <laughs> okay, so we've got 60-something viewers. Go over there and hit the thumbs up, everybody. And let's get this party started. I had seven sales. <laughs> Again, I haven't been listing, but my seven sales were really good ones. So I'm so excited. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, okay, I'm going. Hurry up, I need to get my kids, Patty says. Okay, <laughs> let me screen share my sales. Um, my, let me, here we go. Let me just go to it. All right, so here is, if you remember, I just got these not too, too long ago. These are bookends, these Native American, like Indian chief bookends. They're really cool, plaster, super heavy. Um, so these guys, I took a best offer on. Now, I put in my spreadsheet that I picked them up for five bucks, but really it was less than that because it was that one um, haul where I got all those porcelain like ashtrays and just little trinkety things. I got a ton of stuff at that garage sale um, for 30 bucks. It was a guy just like clearing out. I think the, the, uh, the thumbnail for the haul video has got me holding this like little devil pin cushion, like porcelain and 
it looks like a little devil. Anyway, so all of this stuff I got was 30 bucks. And what I said, I paid five for this, but it's probably less. Um, so anyway, I took a best offer on this just because uh, I haven't had a whole lot of sales and I knew how cheap I got it for. So I, I took a best offer of $65. So I know it says that, you know, it's sold for 100 and, 106, but that's not the actual what I got for it. So anyway, um, so I took a best offer of 65 bucks, and after shipping and fees and everything, I net $54.40. So there's that one on eBay. My next sale on eBay, this is a little bracelet, this little freshwater pearl and garnet. Um, the gold beads were plas little plastic beads. Um, but anyway, I sold this for $16.79. And let's see, I picked it up for $2. It, it may have been less, but honestly, I, I couldn't find it in my spreadsheet. I've gotten really bad about that. So my net profit there was $13.33. I went through my whole videos too because I was like, I know I showed this and I know I'll probably have it in a whole video. Uh, couldn't find it. I've, I'm going to be better moving forward though. Okay, this little babe, this little I, this little elephant, um, let's see, what did I, vintage jeweled elephant inlaid coral, turquoise filigree rays, blah, blah, blah. So this one I also took a best offer of $60 on. I picked this up. I put a dollar in my spreadsheet, but I think I got it for like 50 cents. I think I got it for less than a dollar. Um, <laughs> better Barbie. <laughs> That's funny. So my net profit after shipping and fees on this little elephant was $52 and two cents. And it was really small. It was a little bitty thing. Let's see if I have it next to a, there we go. Like three inches. Like here it is three inches long and you know, a few inches tall. So it was a small little thing, but yeah, 60, uh, $60 is what I net for that one. Okay. Now this one, can you see, these are my Etsy sales. Let me scooch it so you can see the title and everything so when I was doing this is now talk about tiny this little hinged box was t9c it was let's see oh I don't have a let's see how big is it about um, an inch and a half long by an inch and a half wide inch and an inch tall so this was a little teeny little thing right little teeny box so when I and I've had it up for a long time it was one of my grandmother's it was in her collection and so I paid zero for it and when I'm doing my spreadsheet you know I just typed the numbers in I'm not paying attention and then I was like wait a minute I typed in forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents that's fifty bucks I was like did I really charge fifty bucks for this it's been up for so long I can't remember sure enough and I was like why why did I spend, why did I list this for 50 bucks? That's crazy. Um, and then I was like, okay, let me go do some research again after the fact. And I was like, oh, okay. So I typed in my title. It popped up. But then I start looking at all the other ones that are out there. And they're all like 100 bucks, 60 bucks, 50 bucks, 95 bucks. It's like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> That's why I charged 50 bucks for it. So, yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> so this one, you know, it was in my grandmother's collection, so it cost me zero. And so after shipping and fees, my net was $47.56. Pretty good. And then also in my grandmother's collection, she, she collected hat pin holders and sugar shakers. So this was in one of her, uh, you know, in her sugar shaker collection. This is a pressed glass sugar shaker. And, you know, she, she probably got it because the shape of it was different than any of the other ones she had. And Anyway, this one sold for $19.99. And so my shipping and things were off a little bit. So my, my net was a bit higher. It was $21.36. So I have to go back and look at refunding some of that shipping because I was over a bit. All righty. So there's that one. And then last week I was just talking about how I only had one of these left listed. I don't know if you remember that. And then it sold that day. Isn't that funny? So now I have zero accordion hooks listed. I gotta have to get some listed. So this one sold, let's see, I picked it up for $3. It sold for $24.99. And that net me $18.49. And Lastly, I sold these um, gold tone cufflinks that I picked up for a dollar. Sold for $14.99, and so my net was $13.36. All right, let me close out of that. Check the chat, and then we'll talk about, um, I had a couple sales, like through haul videos, and then uh, my merch sales. So let's see. 
what they're saying. I didn't get a chance to read with the um, what the chat was going. Good ROI, they're saying. Thrifty Rose, I love how you don't get discouraged even if you just sold seven items. Thanks. <laughs> seven is a lot for many people. This is true. Yeah, and I, and I haven't been listing, so. Thrifty Rose says, I sell a lot of jewelry on Poshmark. I haven't gotten on to Poshmark yet. Maybe I ought to try it. Take it, <laughs> right? Okay, so last week I had two PayPal sales that I had sent the invoice, but they hadn't come in yet. And so there were some rings that sold for $25 um, from one of my jewelry jars. And then earrings that I picked up on a um, garage sale run. So those sold for $10. You know, I had to ship them out. So tech off, you know, like three bucks or something. Evans says, you refund shipping. I do sometimes. Let's say I sold that... Um, what was it? The the little box. Well, I, I charged $6 for shipping because I thought I would probably end up putting it in a padded flat rate. Uh, and then I didn't know it wasn't that. It was the, um, which one? It was the sugar shaker. That's what it was, the sugar shaker. Because I thought, okay, it's going to be, you know, I'm going to probably want to put it in a box and then put the box into a padded flat rate, kind of like I do for mugs. So I charged 6 bucks, thinking, this was back when I could do pad a flat rate for five ninety, but, but now I've got to, I've got to change that. So it ended up, I felt comfortable leaving it in the six by four by four box and sending it um, first class instead of shipping it priority. So the shipping is like four dollars extra, and normally if it's like two bucks or less, I don't refund. But when it's like an exorbitant amount, then I, I don't know. I think I should. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> Kelly says, I have a ton of cufflinks. How do I find info about them? I just start Googling. I just Google the type and what they look like, and I go from there. If you get stuck, pop them into the jewelry lovers and sellers group. In organizing my packing stuff, Louis says, in my spare bathtub under bag of air pillows, I found three unopened bottles of, <laughs> oh, boxes of large mailing boxes. Oh, my gosh. Did I have... You saw when I was cleaning out my room, I had so much. I just kept ordering supplies because I couldn't find. Everything was so messy. <laughs> I took it back to the post office. Okay, so let me share with you my last week of merch sales. I am planning a total month of February merch video, um, but I've been just showing what I've been selling week by week in my sales updates. It's fun. So let's grab the screen share. And... Let's see, Guillermo says, Poshmark takes out 20% of any sale of $15 or more. No, I don't know if I like that. Because I love Etsy takes out like 3.5%. That's a way better for me. Um, <laughs> Margaret, do you need anything else on your plate? I do, broccoli. I got to eat some more <laughs> greens. <laughs> okay, so here are my, this is um, this is February 28th, and this starts my new month. Because I, I have a spreadsheet. I'll share that when I do my... Um, when I do my merch sales. So on February 28th, I sold two shirts for a profit of $14.51. That's how that works. And then this starts March right here. So in the last week, I have sold, let's see how many shirts, uh, 21 shirts in the last seven days for a profit of $139.21. So that is my March sales. And I can stop that screen share. Again, I'll have a merch sales video up for February sometime. This week is really packed, so it may not be this week. We'll see. I don't want to keep, I feel like the last few days I've been popping up multiple videos a day. And I don't want to keep doing that because it's it's a lot. You know, I already know people can't watch all my videos because I put so many videos up. But, yeah. All right, so 30 thumbs up over there. Go over there and click the thumbs up, everybody. And I think that's it. Um, be on the lookout later today. I will have the um, the giveaway video up because I'm going to record it now. But I won't list. I won't put it up till later. So that's going to be up later today, so that I can start getting um, entries for the jewelry jar giveaway. I'm so excited for that. All right, I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything else. Probably, but that's okay. All right, so thanks so much, you guys, for coming in to see the sales update. And I hope you guys are all doing really well and having great sales and things like that. So I'll keep you posted with how my I'm starting listing going is going. And that's it. Okay, thanks so much, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.